Welcome back, everyone. More than 500 million Yahoo accounts were compromised in a data breach announced last week. And even if you weren't among those half million people, now is still a good time to take some steps to secure your identity. identity. And we have the Better Business Bureau's Emily Villan joining us this morning. So, good morning, Emily. First good of morning. All. So, what should people be vigilant about to keep their identity safe? Well, we know that hackers are always looking for information. Like in the Yahoo breach, they got a hold of names, addresses, dates of birth. And so that can open the door to identity identity theft and of course maybe later in a different way they could get your social security number or bank account information and that is bad news in terms of identity theft and privacy rights clearinghouse they uh, track data breaches and they have since 2005 and in that time more than 900 million data breaches so it's if not when that you'll be a victim of one of these hacks it's probably going to happen or now. when not if I suppose <laughs> is what I'm trying to say now if you were if you did have a Yahoo email account and you think you were involved in this breach what should you do well Yahoo of course asking you to start with changing your passwords and making them strong you know using numbers symbols capital lowercase letters and then if you use that password for any other account you need to reset that too because they have your email address they have your password and in some cases they have your security questions oh, wow. so you'll need to reset that for Yahoo and then if you use that anywhere else you'll want to reset that too and a lot of people do do that it's so easy to just use the same password for everything so now as for the Yahoo breach what should consumers watch for well one thing to be careful of is uh, scammers who want to piggyback on this breach okay. and it often comes in the form of phishing emails with a PH okay. and they say oh we've noticed that you're a victim of this Yahoo breach we just need you to verify or confirm information and then that leads you to enter a credit card number or even more personal information so be very wary of that Yahoo's not going to ask for that information okay good advice as always Emily and remember you can always head to BBB.org for more information thank you so much thank you